What's up everybody, today we're going to be going over a guided farming run where we'll be going after all three types of samples as well as as much metals and whatever else we can find in this short run. First off, what we're looking for here is a terminated faction map where we will be going after this mission right here, the Blitz Search and Destroy. I'm looking here for a daytime mission so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see so it's not so dark. Um, but also we will be wanting to do this on the suicide, uh, difficulty that is the number seven. Uh, I would not recommend going for eight or nine as that will get dramatically harder and, uh, the amount of samples will not increase that much for it to be worth it. Also, any lower difficulty is not worth it because we will not be getting the best sample if we play at that difficulty. So we're going to be picking here, Eagle Airstrike. Uh, I like to pick here uh, the cluster bomb for dealing with the masses as well as the trusty shield generator as well as the railgun to get us out of trouble. For the boosters I like to use the stamina enhancement and for the body armor here's a really good one for these farming runs. It's this one right here the trailblazer, trailblazer scout which uh, reduces the range at which opponents can detect us by 30% making it a lot easier to avoid patrols and avoid unnecessary fights and just kind of let us go for the farm we want. Just putting on here a random helmet just so we kind of look a bit cleaner. Um, yeah, so the breaker shotgun is fine. These stratagems are fine. Stamina enhancement. Now we're going to be going over the run and I'll be giving you guys a couple of tips uh, throughout the gameplay here. So I picked to start off in the extraction zone because the map is obscured so I don't really know where anything is anyways and uh, yeah I figured I might as well spawn here okay we started on top of the hill uh, we're gonna get the shield generator pack out as well as the railgun oh and conveniently there is a rare sample already down here and go ahead and get that now we're going to be looking here for basically as many points of interest as we can. In these Blitz missions we have 12 minutes. Uh, so you can kind of play it. You can kind of play these missions two ways. You can just run into points of interest, grab the samples and run without pretty much killing anybody. Or you can play the way I prefer to play which is playing it safer which is actually clearing out the enemies because this will make it so that you get caught uh, off guard a lot less and uh, it will reduce the numbers of enemies around that are trying to chase you down. Open up here with an Eagle Airstrike to try to take out as many bug holes as we can. Let's get rid of as many bugs here as, as we possibly can. Gotta be real careful with these hunters. These are the really deadly little guys. We're going to try to get rid of this bug breach real quick. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Thought I had just reloaded. All right. Well, rough start. Rough start. But uh, we'll still get this back. We'll get this back. Goes to show that you can afford a mess up here and there. So it started on this side, so usually the samples for these types of bug holes are over here on this little hill. As you can see, there's two common samples. Only got one. I tried to pick up the other one, but I kind of messed that up. God damn, I am struggling with these hunters. We're almost done with this uh, bug hole location. Uh, so if you're just going for samples in these runs, you don't really need to concern yourself too much with clearing out the bug holes. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, care too much about metals for this run, but uh, dealing with the bug holes is gonna be fairly easy as you will see. Uh, and that got pretty much everybody. Let me just get rid of these guys. I generally like to clear out all of the enemies just because it just feels safer. You can kind of just run in, grab the samples and just get out, but... I don't enjoy that very much. I actually like laying down some democracy. Bit of these bug holes. And uh, gonna catch this resupply. So usually these samples around these bug hole locations is uh, 
surrounding the entire site. So you want to check the edges of the site like this. There is some rare samples. Uh, let's look for some more here. I don't think there will be any. Um, let me just give it one last look. Oh, there is one. There's another common sample here. Usually the outsides of these locations is where the samples are located. So always check those out. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move to another point of interest. Let me just pick up my stuff back. And let's start moving. So since the map is obscured, sadly, we don't have that going for us. So we kind of just have to blindly run around and uh, kind of stumble across different points of interest. So you're going to be start getting used to all of these different types of points of, of interest. And uh, you'll start to realize where each sample usually is placed. Uh, I'm starting to get a lot more knowledgeable and knowing where the samples are going to be located, even though I still don't know uh, all of them. But if you clear these out carefully, you should be fine. Usually behind the building or the bug hole, whatever it is, is where a sample is usually hidden. I've noticed that uh, is a reoccurring theme. We got two samples here. I don't see anything else laying down, laying down on the floor. Uh, I see a satellite there through the fog. We're going to go ahead and go for that because since the map is obscured, uh, I'll try to get this satellite to uh, get a better idea of where the points of interest are so that I can more directly run at them. Satellites can be quite a time waster for these missions as the satellites will usually take you like a minute or two and that's quite a long time for these missions, seeing how they're so short. But we're still going to do this just to show you guys how much easier it gets once you do clear out a satellite. For these guys, just shoot out their leg armor. And that's an easy kill. Remember, if you're playing in a group, this is going to be dramatically faster. This is mostly a solo farming guide. But if you're in a group, this is still the fastest way to get the samples. What you want to do is you go one direction and your friend or the other hell diver kind of goes in another direction and you guys just clear out all of the points of interest in a map. I'd imagine if you did this with just one other partner, you guys would get almost twice as many samples. I definitely would recommend doing this in groups, but I am an entirely solo Helldiver player. Or in other words, I don't have any friends that play this game. But these tips will apply to group play as well. I'll go ahead and turn this radar satellite 180 degrees. It's that. Gonna activate the terminal now and we'll take a look at where the points of interest are. Okay. Okay, they're all at the south part of the map. Seeing how all of the points of interest are at the south part of the map, and as you can see, they're kind of clumped up together, then likely the bug holes are actually on the north side of the map, away from the points of interest. What I'm going to do is, even though I only need to clear out two more holes, I'm just I'm not really going to care about it. I'm just going to chase after the points of interest and just kind of show you guys a little bit how these points of interest look like. But yeah, as a tip, if you see all these points of interest grouped up like this, then the bug holes will be at the opposite side. So these buildings usually have a place that uh, has a couple of common samples, usually like a, in a little hole, which is right back here. Common sample, another common sample, and three rare samples. Pumped up, and that's pretty much it for this type of point of interest. We'll move up to another one. As you can see, if you just kind of patiently kind of kill the bugs, you're, you're, you're fine, you're more than fine. You honestly don't need to run around like a maniac and 
risk your life. It's just going to be a lot more dangerous if you do that. Cleaning out the, the bugs is quite a lot easier. Because usually in these Blitz missions, you don't come across many Titans at Bile Titans. You'll maybe see one in this difficulty. Regular maps in this difficulty, you see like three or four, but uh, these Blitz missions, you'll maybe see one at best. There's no problem in clearing out all these bugs. And we got pretty much everything there. I think we got some medals as well, right? I wasn't paying attention to what I looted. I think we got either some medals or some super credits. Points of interest usually carry uh, one of either. Here's the other point of interest. Let me get these little guys out. I hate that that happens. I feel like that's a bug where you take the Brood Commander's head off and he still calls for reinforcement. I feel like that's something that's not intentional because it doesn't make sense. Okay, so we got kind of a swarm here. There is a little point of interest thing there on the floor that I want to loot, so we'll try to clear this out. Cluster bomb climbing in clutch. 20 kills, just a cluster bomb alone. And that's pretty much everybody. Alright, I thought there would, would have been more survivors. See what we got here. Oh, flamethrower. No, no, I don't want that. Two points of interest here close together. I would imagine one of them is going to be the point of interest that will be carrying the super uranium, which is the best sample. Uh, okay, this is a tiny point of interest, just a common sample here. That's it. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah, okay, so the other point of interest, this little rock right here is going to have these super samples in it. It's called super uranium. Um, the rock will always look like that. Always, no matter the map. No matter whether you're playing Automaton Worlds or Terminated Worlds, it will always look like that. So just keep an eye out for those. As you saw in this gameplay, you can also just kind of get the satellite. Conveniently, I'm only missing one bug hole, but I'm not going to worry about it though. I'm still just going to keep going for uh, samples. So there's quite a few here. Like I said, behind the bug holes usually has quite a few samples. And I just realized for the first... Oh, I want that sample. I will die for it. The first bug hole I cleared in this map, I actually didn't loot behind it. So as you can see, we're coming down to 48 seconds. Uh, one quick tip, since we're not going to be completing the bug holes for this run. If you do complete the mission, if you do close off all of the holes... I do not recommend calling down for the extraction and rather just let the time run out just like I am doing here. If you let the time run out just like I am doing, what will happen is you don't need to be anywhere near the extraction point. You don't need to be near the extraction point so you can actually just continue to loot and to run away from enemies and stuff and Generally speaking, it's going to be a much better choice. It's also going to give you more time for looting as much as you can. There is a lot of bugs. Just want to make sure here that I don't die because at this point we don't have any more reinforcements. But we should still be able to grab here these samples pretty safely. Got a couple more common samples. Blow that door open. There should be more in there. What we got? More super credits. And I think that was requisition. Alright, I'm gonna clear out these bugs because I don't want them calling for reinforcement right towards the end of the run. We got a minute and 30 before the uh, shuttle arrives. And we're pretty far away, so let's make a run for it. We're up to 18 common samples, 9 rare, and 3 super samples. I believe we also looted two medals, if I'm not mistaken. I could be talking out of my ass, but I believe the first uh, 
hidden supply we opened up had a had metals in it. Got a little bit more here. One more common, one more rare. And I looted something else there at the bottom that I didn't quite catch what it was. I don't know if it was a metal requisition or it was a metal. So we got yet another metal. And uh, yeah, if you're going for metals, of course, you'll want to go and close the bug holes as well. From my experience, uh, by the way, you can also close the holes at this point. So I could technically run to it and go close the holes, the very last hole, and it will still complete the mission. The mission's not over until it's over. Until you extract, you can still complete the main objective. So keep that in mind if you run out of time. We're actually quite far away, which is not ideal because uh, you'd want to be close to the extraction point. You'd want to be close to the extraction point because the extraction point always has samples around it. So that's another tip. Clear out the extraction area because there's always common samples and rare samples just laying around. Let me see if I can grab one or two here before we go. There's a rare one. Um, any more? I know there's gonna be more, but I don't see it. It's leaving in 10 seconds, so I'm not really gonna take the risk. And I guess I'll just be leaving here. Nothing there. All right. As you can see, the mission was very easy. We only died once uh, because we did a huge mess up, but we didn't even really come close to dying at all. Other than that big mess up. Um, it's just extremely easy to do. Not much sweat. It's a lot easier than running around without killing. Killing. It's better if you just kill everything and make it easier for yourself. So you don't risk spending like 10 minutes trying to grab samples just to die towards the end. We got also 90 XP. We could have easily completed the main objective. Uh, so keep that in mind. Shameful return. I'm sorry. I was going for samples. Yeah, I should have done the bug hole just to show you guys. But as you can see, 19 common samples, 11 rare, 3 super samples, and a couple of metals. I should have grabbed the last bug hole. But anyways, I hope that helps some of you guys out. I uh, hope you could learn something from this. Uh, I just wanted to show this because I had a couple of people in my comment section below asking how I farm my samples and this is how I do it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll be catching you on the next one. Peace.